Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Obviously I did do them last week due to the uh, postponing fixtures and yet again it has postponing fixtures again for Boxing Day which is Liverpool versus Leeds and Wolverhampton versus Watford both been postponed due to be played on the Boxing Day Feast of Football. But there's still eight games to predict for now, I don't know how many will be going ahead come you know, Boxing Day, but anyway, let's get down to all these eight games. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a beef up from you enjoy if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game I'm going to try and predict is Burnley versus Everton. I don't think no teams played the previous four fishes. No, they didn't. Burnley are really struggling, um, but so are Everton. This is going to be a really interesting kickoff for a clock, Boxing Day, the Feast of Football. Um, I'm going to go for a draw, I think, and I'm going to go for a one scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Leicester City. No, I don't think... Oh, Manchester City did play, play away to Newcastle, beating uh, Newcastle 4-0 at St James's Park. And let's, let's not forget that this is the last game, I believe, before the Neuron Risk could start bomb players up at Newcastle. So it's got to be a very interesting time up there. Speak more about them when we get down to their fixture. As I said, they did beat um, Newcastle 4 0. Leicester didn't play in the four fixtures. It's a very interesting game, but I think Manchester City may have just found their form in, you know, in recent times. So I'm going to go for a Man City win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Manchester City win. My next one is Norwich versus Arsenal. Now, what Arsenal did play beating Leeds United away from home 4-1. A very dominant performance. And I did actually watch their game against Sunderland in the League Cup. Or the Carmel Cup, it's now called. It's going to be a very, very interesting game on the Arsenal perspective Norwich did not plan the previous four fixtures so it's just got to go straight to my predictions again and I'm going to go for a very comfortable very easy 3-0 Arsenal win my next one is Spurs versus Crystal Palace one of the London derbies taking place on Boxing Day Spurs did play 2-2 at home to Liverpool in the previous uh, result I, it's going, this game's got some very com uh, great conversation going ahead. Should Kenton Red at Robinson? And Robinson did see Red after kicking out at Spurs player. I can't quite remember who the Spurs player is, but it don't really matter. But should Kenton see Red? Put it down in the comments below if you believe he should see Red. Or even if he didn't, you know, but I think they both should have been sent off. And let's be honest, VAR had a very terrible weekend, but so does the referees, and I've always said that. It's not the VAR, it's the referees and the people making the calls. Uh, I think this game really does need to go up in a big standard way if it's going to improve. The VAR, now to me, and I'll speak about this, but now we're speaking about VAR, VAR to me is a big... You know, we're seeing a lot of errors in this game, and you know, I agree with Alan Shearer about it's not the VAR. I've always said it's not the VAR, it's the people behind the screen and the people on the pitch. If they can't do their job to up our standards, I think if they can't go and up their job, they should really, really uh, be looking for more referees and better quality referees as well. Do your job, Premier League and the FA. And you know, it's a terrible standard of refereeing at this present in time. Let's just hope that, that was maybe an off week. Maybe they should build on it next week. But I think it's Jamie Carragher was saying about now Mark Riley, who's a big charge referee, that's Premier League referee himself. He can't say that's a great weekend. No, it wasn't. It was a terrible weekend for referees. As I said, let's just hope it's a blip and it don't cause havoc in this lot of football. But anyway, because Crystal Palace did it uh, play, say, play, I mean, um, I'm going to go for a result of a 2-1 Tottenham win. My next one is West Ham versus Southampton. Now, I don't think neither team played during the previous four games. No, they didn't. West Ham do look very dangerous. They nearly came back 
at Spurs during the Caramel Cup game. Unfortunately, it didn't quite happen, but, you know, they did really have a go, you know, at Spurs. So, it's going to be a very interesting game. Southampton ain't playing that badly either. So, I'm going to go for a... Uh, I'm going to go for a draw, I think, just about. Both teams are playing quite okay football. And I'm going to go for a 1-1 one scoreline for that one. I'll go 1-1, one, but don't be surprised if West Ham doesn't win that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Chelsea. Now, Aston Villa did have a game called off. They were one of the big clubs that had the outbreak. And, you know, going up against Chelsea this weekend. And Chelsea only drew to Rampton in the previous Premier League fixture. And they only just really squeezed in the League Cup. I think they beat Brentford for 3-0. But the team of Chelsea calibre, you know, should have maybe done better. But, hey oh, it's the way football goes. And they're not really looking great goal-scoring form at this present time. If I'm being brutally honest with you. So, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for a light draw, I think. And I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Brentford. Yes, my local club should be playing again. More than likely it will happen as well. Now, we have had our light outbreak. And if you go back to watch my Wolverhampton vlog, you would have seen how frustrating I, I was. And still am. We can't put the ball in the net. Brentford are a very, very good team. And... They can come down and cause problems. We only beat Brentford away from home. I only remember this because it's, you know, it's the build up to the game itself. We only beat Brentford 1-0 away from home. And there was a late Trossard goal. Trossard should maybe fitch, uh, feature in this game. Like I said, Neil Mope coming back for Brighton as well. This is going to be a tough game. A really tough game. I'm going to go for... A draw, and I'm gonna go for a one all scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Newcastle versus Manchester United. Newcastle did play losing 4 0 to Manchester City at home. As I said, the big spenders start coming into play. I can't see, I mean, I've done a video with one player that every club needs to buy, and I've made that pop up at the end of this video just to catch up it's in it. But is it going to make a really big sort of difference from that Newcastle perspective? United, okay, seems to be playing well in patches, but they didn't play. I'm not I can't remember who they were supposed to play. But it's always been a very interesting game up at St James's Park between these two clubs. So. I'm going to go for a Man United win just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Man United win. But anyway, guys, have a great Christmas. You know what to do. Give us a like, big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.